Welcome to spring year one of Stardew Valley 1.6 Perfection in a Minute. I want to say thank you to everyone watching this, as the first season amassed over 350,000 views at the time of this recording. So without wasting any more time, here's spring year one. Welcome to Stardew Valley 1.6. We will be doing the Meadowlands farm, and that's right, Remix Bundles and the Remix Mines. Let's do this. I'm already loving the look of the new house, and we get hay. Actually, that makes perfect sense. We get the coop to start, say hello to the little chicks. Let's clean their area up for them, and that waterfall looks amazing. Also, I've noticed I get a lot of fiber, but not a lot of mixed seeds. Is that a new change in this patch? So we've already burned through a lot of energy. Let's go foraging around the valley for a while. We're going with 12 potatoes to start. I want as much money as possible for strawberries. Clean the farm area near the house. Plant our potatoes. One mix seed. And say goodnight to day one of 1.6. Stardew 1.6 perfection in a minute. Welcome to spring day two, where we're going to fish to our heart's content. Can I just say, I love this new animation for first catch of a fish. What is that? Holy crap, sea jelly is insane. It's trout soup, but better and farmable. So we've had some unreal luck with treasure chests so far today. This is a lot of coal. Wait, a river jelly? This one gives energy? I might have to farm a lot of these for when it comes to pushing the mines. I am absolutely in love with 1.6, and I'm only on day two. Oh, and we're already fishing level two on day two. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. Welcome to spring day three. It's raining and that means we're going to attempt to catch a catfish today. We tilled for more potatoes. Let's go buy some from Pierre. Well, the day can't get worse. Okay, losing our first catfish isn't too bad. Okay, this one I tried to chase a treasure chest and I had it caught and let it get away. I'd also like to mention I'm using one of the sea jellies I caught yesterday, so I'm also getting that fishing level buff. Those three magma geodes could give some unreal items. We're gonna have to go visit Clint soon. One last shot at a catfish today. 0 oh, for 3. Well, not my best showing. We shipped off over 1,200 gold worth of fish, and we already jumped to fishing level 4. So I made a big mistake with my money today. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. Welcome to spring day four. Let's plant some rice because we can. Some geodes with Clint, nothing outstanding, but enough to get cauliflower seeds as a reward. We have 2,600 gold. Ideally we buy maybe 20 potatoes. So we have some extra cash. Nope, we bought 52 potatoes. This means daily we now have over 70 crops we have to water. We're going to have to pray for rain and get farming level 2 ASAP and push the mines hard. I will say I am loving the new scenery additions that have been added. Hey, we found some spring onions. Hey, we had some spring onions. You know, I was actually wondering where the cave was. Tomorrow, the mines open. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. Look at this new good boy. He even looks like my dog. I love this. Okay, so this is a lot of crops on day five. We are doing animation canceling, so it speeds up our actions a lot. And this still took over two hours to water. Okay, so here's the plan going forward. We need to get to mines 40 as soon as possible. We need iron. We want as many sprinklers as we can before the 14th. I don't want to have to water when we get strawberries. I know a lot of people wait until they get the quality sprinklers, but I have over 70 crop already. 
I can't be wasting time and energy. Watering. Oh my god, I almost died! No! I almost died! I was so we already also had our first close call on our first Mines Day. Already that new change to pets moving away faster is coming in clutch for me. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. Hey, we can smelt now. Day 6, it's raining, which means we have another shot at a catfish, but first let's push the mines a little bit more. Getting a club is huge for monsters, and look at that, we already have a ghost fish. Now I still don't know what my bundles will require, so we're going to keep this one for now. So normally I edit this a lot so that you don't see long-winded extended clips, However, you have to see this catfish. This is all 10 seconds that it took. It almost feels like I was cheated out of the experience of catching it. We're getting our farmer skills leveled up quick. Farming level 1 and mining level 2. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, spring day 7 and our first little potato harvest. I don't have time for you, Mayor Lewis. Buy some parsnip seeds to replace the potato spot and off to the mines we go. Of course we instantly get a monster floor, luckily we've got a club. We're flying through these floors but now it's the worst part of the mines, the dark floors. These copper clusters are insane, and it's good because we need a lot of copper still. Also, here we go. Hashtag beginner tip. Hear that bat invasion sound? Zoom all the way in so they spawn even closer to you. Also, I needed those bats to give me a ladder. I had enough energy for three more swings of my pickaxe to get to floor 40. Tomorrow, let's go get some iron. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, spring day 8. Oh, and we've got a letter from a wizard. Uh, alrighty then. Well, let's go say hi. You know what? We have our own magic powers too. Let's skip ahead. Wait, what? He said something about drink this? We just met a literal wizard who can teleport and we're going to drink something from this smoking green cauldron? Don't drink things from strangers, everyone, but I guess bottoms up? Oh no. What is going on? It was 9 a.m. I drank some green drink and it's almost 1 a.m. and I'm at home. What happened today? Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. It's spring day nine and we need to figure out what happened yesterday. We have no memory of the day, yet we leveled up mining and forage. Okay, so we apparently can understand the apple people now. Wait, what on earth is that? Okay, spring crops. Is that a carrot? Where do I get carrots? This is our mines chest. I don't remember getting half of this stuff. What the heck did that wizard make us drink yesterday? This bundle does not look fun. I guess I'll need to push the mines for those purple mushrooms. Finish off the day with some lumberjacking and kill time to smelt some more iron. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, spring day 10, and I'm gonna have to use just default Stardew music today. There was some audio issues with the recording, so we'll make do. Our 52 potatoes became 66, which is just above average, not too bad. We're going to be smart, as you saw, we're putting a furnace in the mine so we can continue to farm iron and smelt iron, which we need. Now, because there's no audio in the background, we can talk about plans for spring for this perfection save. We don't want to have to water, it wastes a ton of energy. We want that energy for mines, fishing, and foraging. We'll be upgrading the pickup shortly, so we may need to fish for extra money so we can still go brook buying strawberries. We also closed out the day hitting farming level three I want to make sure I'm always growing some of every crop going forward. So we'll be planning for that and of course, getting lots of animals. Today I'm going to teach you why the club is the best weapon type in the game. 
Stardew Valley 1.6 Perfection in a Minute, Spring Day 11. Before we get to the club, did you see that maple seed bounce like 40 feet in the air from that squirrel? Hand in some gems to the museum and oh look! The wizard wants to pay us after drugging us a few days ago. So to slam with the club, right click to special, then instantly start spamming the left click and the C button during the animation. That's how you do the big slams that you've seen me do. It'll take a little bit of time to get used to, but it makes the small club better than almost any weapon until you get a galaxy sword. Looking back on the day, the wizard giving us that 600 gold quest kind of saved the day after we spent 2000 to upgrade our pickaxe. Tomorrow, we've got to make a lot more money for strawberries. We found something new and crazy in the quarry. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. It's spring day 12, which means tomorrow is the egg festival. Our first chance to buy a big money-making seed, strawberries. Okay, what is that in the quarry? That's new, right? We haven't seen that before. And the worst part is we're not going to be able to know what it is until winter because we need winter forage bundles to be able to unlock the quarry. This is gonna drive me insane. We also ended up making a decent amount of money over $1,800. So that puts us at enough to buy 86 strawberries tomorrow. I've got a lot of work to prep for that. We can now give our pets a hat. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute. Spring day 13, let's prep the sprinklers for strawberries, till the area and water. 2,000 extra gold means that we can buy a backpack tomorrow. Okay, there's the Mario Kart music. It must mean it's time to race. Spoiler alert, we won. No one stood a chance. Also, this new change, best thing ever. We're now able to give our pets, in this case, my dog Dorito, is wearing a hat. We need more hats. He must become the best looking boy ever. We found an item that hasn't even been updated on the Stardew Valley wiki yet. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, spring day 14. Uh, also, we found our first book. Copper pickaxe means we're off to the mines today. Get that upgraded backpack as well, and we should be good to go. Instantly, we found something we've been looking for. Carrots. So we may be the first person to confirm that dust sprites can drop the witch hat now. Normally, it requires a golden pumpkin to craft, so this is an unreal find. Once we put the hat on, the push to floor 60 really took off. Tomorrow, salmon berry season starts, so we'll be running around the valley for a few days. We need it for energy, and the foraging experience is essential. We're gonna have to put the mines on hold for a few days. So we found another rare hat today. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, spring day 15, and it's officially salmonberry season. This tree, this tree is very suspicious. We're gonna keep an eye on this. In our adventures, we found a random ax on the ground. Wonder who it belongs to. So we're not going to be wearing our witch's hat for long. Hello, garbage hat. Oh, it's Robin's axe. And my axe. So do we call her Gimli now? Finish the day cutting down some trees. We're going to need a lot of wood to start getting buildings built soon by Gimli Robin. Also, we had to update Dorito to the witch's hat. It really suits him. So we found a door that we can't access yet. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. Spring day 16. I burnt some resources to get a glowstone ring. I was getting tired of having to chase down salmon berries. Wait, what is this door? Only a master of the five ways may enter. So what, what on earth is locked behind that door? And I want to know now. Wait, are these the new wormies? Oh, that's where the carrot seeds come from. We continued to chop down some trees around our farm and decided to give our chickens access to only the bluegrass. Hopefully we don't live to regret this choice. 
tomorrow we continue to forage and explore. We found a rainbow today. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute. Spring day 17, foraging four early on in this day, which means double the salmon berry drops. That will help our stockpile immensely. What on earth is down here? A rainbow, pot of gold. We're celebrating St. Patrick's Day. It's the 17th. This is amazing. And we get a new hat. It's the little things in this update that show Concerned Ape loves this game. Looks like the wizard still wants to pay us back for drugging us earlier this month. Finish a bundle, hand in a few other items as well. Finish off the day with more tree clearing. I think we might put a barn here when it becomes time to build one. So we found a new secret area near Clint's workshop. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. Spring day 18, it's the final day of Salmonberry season. First, let's complete that wizard quest for the over 700 gold. Dust sprites are an easy kill and a worse luck day doesn't matter for us in the mines. So I was walking against the wall near Clint's and I went through it. This is clearly new and I need a steel axe to get through. So that's gonna be a short, term goal is to figure out what's hiding back here. We'll finish clearing up Cinder Snap Forest, getting the rest of the salmon berries, also getting paid by the wizard. He must really hate dust sprites. We ended up with 269 salmon berries over the four days. That's almost 7,000 energy worth of food. We also lost a strawberry to a crow this morning. So we need a new scarecrow, unfortunately. There's custom bobbers for fishing now. I chose a duck. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. Spring day 19. We're going to do some fishing today. First, let's get some geodes to Clint and do some more museum progress. So in Willie's shop, off to the right, there's a new spot. When you click on it, you can pick a custom bobber. I don't know how to lock the rest, but I chose the duck. Here's how much we have to speed things up today for fishing. During the bubbles, I caught 26 fish and seaweed. This new book, that's kind of cool. I don't think we need row for anything, but it never hurts to get. So as the day finishes out, 67. We caught 67 different things, and that was with us starting at 10 a.m. Also, Dorito, our dog, almost caused us to pass out at the end here. Crazy that with all those fish, it only ended up being 3,348 gold. We didn't end up making it back into our bed today. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, spring day 20. We're starting at floor 60 in the mines. My goal in the mines on any given day is to try and get about 20 floors further. Unfortunately, I ended up with two monster floors in the 60s, and they ended up costing us over four hours, which is going to give us some problems. So we know we need to leave the mines at about 12.30 the latest to make it home to bed. We've got just over six hours to try and make it 10 more floors and make it home. The 70s were going all right, but floor 79 took us almost two hours. A staircase just didn't want to show up, and I didn't have enough stone prep to make one. Luckily, it only ends up costing just a little bit of gold, and we'll wake up in our own bed tomorrow. It could be worse. Also, the end of the recording somehow got lost, but I promise we waited for our fate gracefully and weren't panicking at all. There's someone who sells books, and he arrives in a hot air balloon. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. Spring day 21. So behind Joja is the bookseller. He shows up twice a month. You can find out exactly when on your calendar and he sells various books. I can't really afford anything useful yet, but there is some stuff we will want. Also, we decided to get a mushroom cave and that extra money that we got from our strawberries. Let's get ourselves a barn. So even though today is a bad luck day, I really want to push through the mines. I'll need resources for quality sprinklers, and gold is part of that. I also had more than a few close calls today. So much so that on floor 89, with enough time left to get to 90, I hightailed it out of the mines so I could sleep in my own bed. A busy day lands us with farming level 5 and mining level 6.
We found our fifth new hat already today. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, spring day 22, our museum collection is coming along nicely. I'm buying 36 parsnip seeds, I'll let you know why when the time comes. So we forgot our club at home, luckily we keep spare weapons in the chest. At this point of the mines, the sword does better than a base club, unless I can do animation cancelling perfectly. We got to 90 quickly, it's looking like we have a chance to hit 100 today, until we get another monster floor. Now this monster floor was worth it. We got a new hat, the fishing hat, and a book. This book is essentially a mini burglar's ring, and finding this early might be game changing. I also learned this one recently. Using a fire quartz over a normal quartz in the furnace gives three refined quartz instead of one. Today we ripped in the mines. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, spring day 23, the push to 100 and beyond begins. It was a little slow getting from 95 to 100, but that star drop from the chest for that bonus energy is incredible. As we push through, on floor 107 we found our first totem. It just so happened to be a warp totem to the farm. Had we thought ahead, this could have saved us today. Our 110 chest gives us the best club until a prismatic shard or ginger island. It also gave us just a little bit too much confidence. With the slime on top of me, I can't select my salmonberry quick enough to eat it, recover a bit of hit point, and survive, so I Skyrim to the entrance of the cave. And as if to shove it in my face, yeah, we hit combat level 5 and mining level 7 to finish out the day. Today we stumbled upon what looks like a cult. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, spring day 24, which means it's the flower dance festival. Might be good to take a day to slow down after what happened in the mines yesterday. So let's get these parsnips prepped and planted before we head off. Always by the rare crow. Also, I decided to talk to every villager here since I haven't yet. Though somehow I skipped Pierre, but I'm pretty sure I talked to him. Ah, it's time to start the dance. That Kool-Aid is making me want to join in and dance. Alright, so we've been drugged by a wizard and seem to have joined a cult. Fun valley we've got here at Stardew. But at least we found a new shirt and a tree. Tomorrow, our barn is finally finished. We got a quest for a prize ticket today. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute, spring day 25, and it's going to be a busy one. Second big strawberry harvest, which pushes us into farming six. Bought ourselves two cows, Fofo and Jubba. I wonder if I should start a naming theme for all of these animals this farm is going to have. Also a quest with a prize ticket as a reward. 35 copper ore, we can do that. Dropped our axe off to get upgraded, then off to the mines. We unintentionally finished the bug killing requirement while going after copper ore for the quest. Which means we now have the insect head weapon. We'll never use it. I love seeing Dorito laying on my bed with the witch's hat on. It's so unbelievably cute. Something is growing on my trees. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, spring day 26. Ah, more carrot. Summer squash seeds? Oh, that's cool. No one has time for you, Mayor Lewis. And my prize ticket is... Summer squash seeds, all right. Wait, what is that question mark box? Something is off with this tree. Oh, it's moss. I've been looking for this. It makes perfect sense that it ends up growing on trees. That book we found the other day that can give row and treasure chests has finally paid off. We'll have to remember this for later. Also, I wish I could share this whole scene. Gus is one of the best citizens of Stardew Valley with this Linus friendship scene. Seeing as how I found diamonds in the trash, I'm not one to judge, Linus. Clint's update is my new favorite quality of life change. Stardew Valley 1.6, perfection in a minute, spring day 27. 
Let's say hi to our animals, you haven't seen them for a few days. Pick up our copper axe, now let's upgrade it to a steel one. Also this latest 1.6 patch, when you've got a tool being upgraded, you can still process geodes and shop at Clint's. Terrible planners unite, Clint has us covered now. We have one goal in the mines today. We want purple mushrooms. Yes, I know we have the mushroom cave, but we also need resources from the mines. We need ore, stone, and coal going forward. Also, you can see great examples of how powerful the club smash is. You can see a lot of times where the enemies on screen just vanish. We also pulled two more diamonds today and exactly zero purple mushrooms. Took advantage of the warp totem that we found to head home tomorrow. Final day of spring. So I have a conspiracy theory about the lava in the mines. Stardew Valley 1.6 perfection in a minute. Spring day 28, plant a lot, and I mean a lot of trees. I'm going to need wood, and at the moment, I don't need that farm space. So we're off to the mines to fish on floor 100. I want to catch a cave jelly and try my luck at a lava eel. Now, I don't actually think this lava is lava. Remember how earlier on in spring we got that letter about Joja cleaning up a landslide that they caused? I think they were covering up some sort of spill, and it turned this part of the mine's water into this lava-looking thing. Otherwise, how on earth am I able to fish up literal sticks, trash, and newspaper? It'd be burnt to a crisp. I think Joja did something, and it even modified the eels that were in this cave. Anyway, tomorrow, we're off to summer.